as you might know, I was in Argentina not even two weeks ago. So I learned some crazy interesting things about a country that I visited for the first time. I divided the facts in subjects. So first off, food. Everything has dulce de leche in there. Isa described it as a burned milk jam that you, they scraped off of burned milk or something. It doesn't sound appealing at all, but it really is. I'm not cleaning up. Uh, I feel like such a beauty guru. You see that Nutella looking stuff? That's that. And it's in everything. Everyone always says that the meat there is very good. And that's true. Pretty much all food is actually really good. But they barely ever seem to eat vegetables. Barbecues or asados are a very important social event and tasty. Not the barbecues themselves because I didn't lick them. Whenever you go somewhere to eat out, they always give you a basket of breadsticks. Argentine salespeople are required to give you a straw whenever you buy a can or a bottle because they find drinking from a can gross. Traffic. There in Buenos Aires are so many cars. Argentine people know when the lights for the pedestrian lights is gonna turn green and they basically walk a few seconds before it actually does. But the pedestrian lights aren't actually green, they're white. And honestly, when your mind is set to green is walking, red is stopping, you're not even noticing the white light. It actually seems like it's just another street light. Like you genuinely don't see it. When the pedestrian light goes back to red, it first goes back to red with another countdown. The countdown doesn't show when it's gonna turn green. It actually means that you can still walk until the countdown goes to zero. Greeting. Argentine people greet each other by kissing each other on the cheek like this. This is supposed to be someone else's head. Could you not slam door plus? Storm people that I haven't met yet. Guys kiss on the cheek too, but only when their masculinity isn't fragile. If they end up preferring a handshake, they often shake your hands like you do some sort of bro handshake, you know? Internet. Wi-Fi is often very unstable. When it is stable, it's not overly fast. Then again, this country has pretty fast internet, so maybe I'm just spoiled. A lot of parts in town in Buenos Aires didn't actually have 3G because there was just a network error or something. The people. People are generally very nice. Everyone here warned me to be careful of all those people there, but they're not scary at all. They're people. Generally, they don't really speak English. They seem to really enjoy it when you try to speak Spanish and when they notice that you really can't. People don't mind it if you don't speak Spanish though, unless, you know, drunk an older man in grocery stores that tell you to go back to your own country. The water. Argentines can drink from the tap, but I can't because of the high amount of chlorine and my body's not used to it, so it would make me crazy sick. Argentines don't drink the water though because it's gross. There's so much chlorine in there that if you shower and you get water into your eyes, it actually stings like you're in a pool. The Argentine people buy bottled water. Having water that you can drink straight from the tap is such a privilege because I had to say, I'm out of water and that feels just so weird to be honest. Buenos Aires, where I was. There are a lot of homeless people. And seriously, it made me so sad every time I crossed someone, I was like, no. Sometimes they ask you for money, but you just can't give it or you don't know what they're saying. And you're like, oh, please, I feel so bad. There are a lot of people out there that sell stuff on the street. Completely random things. Wristbands all the way to like macrame animals. Some people will randomly come up to you and ask you for a fist bump. Mostly homeless looking people. People actually clean up their dog's poop. Some places have these little baggy dispensers that you can use to pick up the poop. And I love it. It, but because there's not a lot of nature in Buenos Aires, dogs pee on the ground and there's little dog pee puddles everywhere. <laughs> and lastly, some random facts that didn't really fit into any category. Their electric sockets are multifunctional. This means that they don't need an adapter when they have the electronics from another country because basically all of them fit in the same one. It basically looks like bleh, 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 bleh. There's the stereotype that no one there is Caucasian, and I actually thought that too. But about 90% of the people there are. The country is perceived as super dangerous, at least over here. But it's honestly not that bad. My healthcare people told me that pretty much everything would kill me. All of the others would tell me that everything I own would get stolen, and others would tell me that all of the people would completely hate me. It's just any other country. Whenever they wash their hands, they use solid pieces of soap instead of liquid soap. Liquid soap is so much cooler though. This was a little observation I made with pretty much every Argentine room seems to have a couple of light switches, but only one does something. Also, the Argentine people don't really seem to like their backs because there are so many chairs that don't have back support or back support that's so decorated that it actually hurts your back. And I was always there like, oh, why do, does everything not have back support? Bar stools or stuff. And they're all like, I don't really mind. I'm like, <laughs> And lastly, their fridges are super cold in the sense that whenever I would take out a bottle of water, it would actually be as if I got my drink iced. I mean, honestly, I thought it was pretty cool. Wow. So that is what I learned about Argentina. Please comment down below. What do you know about Argentina or what did you think you knew? And if you want comedy videos twice a week into your subscription box, you can of course subscribe. I post something to get to know each other a little bit better like this on Saturday and on Wednesday, I post something to solely entertain you. All that because I want to light up your day and make you smile because I believe laughter and 
and smiling and positivity improves your life. But overall, I really hope you like this video and I would love to see you next time.